Hey everyone, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to give you guys fitness tips on how to get nice legs and nice booty. Keep in mind, a lot of these are dancer workouts, but anybody can do them. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with one of my favorite workouts, pulses. You don't want your butt to stick out like I'm showing now. You want to pull up and under and make sure your pelvis is tucked. These are kind of similar to a squat, but just with turned out legs. You're going to hold this position and you're just going to hold down in a deep ground plie and pulse. You can decide whether or not you want to lift one foot at a time as I am now displaying. This is just for an extra challenge. Then for an extra, extra challenge, you can go up and down. You can hold this position down without pulsing on flat foot or for an extra challenge, you can do that on releve. And then for the ultimate challenge, you can hold releve position, which is what my feet are doing, and pulse the whole entire time. You're going to want to do a combination of all those pulses for at least two to three minutes. Next up, we're going to do normal squats. You can either do singular ones as I'm showing now, or you can switch it off to doubles, which I am now showing. You're going to want to switch off between the two, doing singulars and doubles for at least a minute. Next up, we are going to switch to normal squats, meaning everything is held in a parallel position. You're going to do normal squats for around a minute, and then you're going to hold down and pulse in this position for another 45 seconds. This one, you are definitely going to feel the burn. Next up, we're going to switch to a little hamstring strengthening. You're going to want to make sure that you're holding on to something sturdy. Do not turn out the leg and do not swing your leg forward and back. You just want to hold it up parallel and just slightly pulse it. It's not going to hurt, but you're going to feel your hamstring get a little tight and that's how you're going to know that it's working. Now we're going to get into some calf workouts. You're just going to do plie releves. Then we're going to switch to just doing normal releves. And then when you're done with that, we're going to double time. You can do a mixture of all of these for two minutes. We have one more calf strengthening exercise. You're going to want to grab something sturdy, but make sure you're not pushing onto it and putting all the force into your arms. You just want something to refer back to for balance. Just like our hamstring exercise, you're going to pick up the opposite leg and keep it parallel with a flexed foot. And then you're just going to do releves on the opposite, 25 on each leg. This exercise is very important because it helps us strengthen the top part of our calves instead of just the bottom, which we typically focus on. Disregard the smoke, my dad is barbecuing, but now we're going to get into doing some jump squats. You're going to want to make sure that you're really going deep into your squat and you're in a parallel position. You are going to do 25 of those. You are going to do 25 knee lifts on each leg. We're going to do 25 donkey kicks on each leg. Make sure that you're really focusing on keeping the leg that's going in the air super straight. And lastly, we're going to do 25 side swings on each leg. Now on to the most important part, stretching. After a workout such as this, you really need to make sure you're stretching. The first stretch that I am showing is fire log position. This is the most important stretch after a leg workout such as this because it gets deep into your glutes. And as you can see, I'm very tight there. You're going to hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Then you're going to sit up and do the stretch that I am displaying. From there, you're going to lay down on your back. Notice your legs make a four. You take your arm through the little hole, and then you're just going to hold on to the back of your knee. And you're going to bend and straighten your leg. And you can do this for around 45 seconds to a minute. It's going to feel really nice. Next up, we're going to do a nice little hammy stretch. You take one leg up, and with your opposite arms, you grab onto the toes, and you're just going to lean back. Make sure your back is super straight. Then you're going to put your hand down, and then you're going to go down to your elbows. You want to make sure you hold each one for at least 30 seconds. Next up, we're going to do a nice little calf stretch. You hold a normal lunge, and then you bend your legs, and that'll get deep into your Achilles. Then you're going to reach to your opposite side, and you're going to feel a nice stretch all the way up your leg into your side. Say hello to my Beagle Mika. You got another nice, good hammy stretch. You're going to grab the back of your legs and bend and stretch. Now, if this is too hard for you, you can simply just try to reach your hands to the floor. Lastly, we have a nice little quad stretch. Make sure that your legs are not apart because that'll cause a strain. Make sure that they are together. Make sure you do every single stretch for at least 30 seconds on both legs. And that's it for a little nice leg and booty workout. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And I hope that it's something different for you, especially for all of my non-dancers. I'm sure this is stuff that you've never done before. And for my dancers, you might be familiar with it, but maybe you just don't utilize all of these workouts all the time. Make sure that you guys really do this and try to stick to doing it at least every other day so that you can really see results. Me personally, I try to do it every single day. So if you have the time, you might as well just do it. I promise you guys will see results.
do it at least every other day for a month. I'm sure you're going to be really happy with where you are and I'd love to hear about it. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know everything and keep me updated on your journey. Like come back a month from now and tell me how this has helped you and if you've seen any changes. Um, I love you all. If you want more videos like this, please let me know because I had a lot of fun making it. Um, just comment below what you'd want tutorials on, specific things you need help with, fitness-wise, stretching things, trick things, whatever. I'm down to do it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.